Hey everybody, my name's Tyler Lutz. I am a cloud launch manager here at Rackspace, and I'm here today to show you how to create a static website using our Cloud Files product. So in order to create a static website, we're going to need a Rackspace managed cloud account. Uh, we're going to need a unique Cloud Files container for each website that you plan to host and all of the site files available locally. Your website must include at least an index.html file and all the necessary CSS, JavaScript, and HTML needed to run the site. First, we need to create a container within Cloud Files. So you're going to click on Storage up at the top and then choose Files and then click on Create Container. We're going to give the container a name, choose a region, click Static Site, click Create Container, and now we're ready to upload our files. You'll need to use a file manager such as Cyberduck or FileZilla to upload the files in bulk. Simply select the files from your local machine and drag them to the container you created in the step before. You can find instructions for using Cyberduck and FileZilla in the Rackspace community. Now, when we refresh the cloud control panel, we see that our files have been uploaded. And when we click on index.html, the site loads as expected. Finally, we need to update the container time to live and copy the CDN address. Go back to the containers listing and click on the settings gear. Set the TTL to something lower, like 900 seconds. Then click on the gear again, choose website settings, and copy the target domain. Next, we need to give the site a readable domain name. Assuming you're managing your DNS at Rackspace, choose Cloud DNS from the Networking tab and create a new domain. Enter only the domain, no www, into the domain name field along with a contact email. Leave the TTL as is. Click Add Record and then choose a CNAME record. Type www or any subdomain you might choose for the host name and paste in the target domain we copied from the website settings. Click Add Record and your site will now be live. It may take a few minutes to several hours for the DNS to propagate, but your site is now live on the internet. Now, when you navigate to your domain, you will see the website. Thank you for watching this video, and remember, you can always call us if you have any questions.